had a fools. I'm gonna try and make this quick, but basically tomorrow I'm releasing an album. A lot of you will probably already know this, but for the people that are like, what the hell are you on about fool? Basically a few months ago, I started doing stuff on Suno AI, which is like a music generated thingy. And I actually got really into it and started doing different things and making different songs, creating different lyrics, whatever, to make a load of songs for an album. I'm gonna go through all the songs that are on the album, including the three that release a little bit later on as well, just so you get a bit of background knowledge on what the different songs are. So the first track is called Hello There My Boy. And even though it's the first track on the album, it was, I think, the second to last one that I made. Originally, the one that's now track four was track one, but I switched it last second. And it's basically just about checking in on people while you're off doing other stuff. I think that it's probably one of my favorite ones though. It might just be because it's one of the newer ones that I did, but I, I, I don't know, see what you think. Track two is called Crash and Burn, and it's basically an anime style intro sort song-ish, but it's about a car crash. So yeah, the whole song just goes through different stages of what it's like to be in a car crash kind of, but in a really cool anime way. I don't really know how else to explain this one, but you'll see what I mean if you've seen the like teasers for it and when you listen to the song, hopefully. Track three is Battle Royale Fever, which is one of the ones that we made when I first went on to Suno. So the first part of the song will be the bit that you'll have heard if you watch that. And the second half is all new, I had to create that. And I think it turned out pretty well. Track four is called Peel It Up. It's the one that we played right at the end of that original Suno vid. Basically just about peeling a banana, but I changed the second half of it so that it's from the banana's perspective and that they don't want to be peeled. So yeah, it's a bit of a strange one but there are some strange ones on here. And that one was originally gonna be what track one was, but then I changed it last second. Track five is called Midnight Wanderer, and it's basically a completely changed version of what we had in the Suno vid. There was, I think it was the first one that we made. It was shocking, it was terrible, but I took the lyrics from that, changed the style of the song, and made it into something that actually kind of sounds okay. So if you're into some of the, like Eurovision type songs, it's probably a bit like that. Track six, certain people will have heard, a lot of people might have just seen the teasers, but it is called Subscribe to Grog TV. It basically just has the Subscribe to Grog TV and Yeah parts from his outro, but in a really strange, Thing. I have a feeling that this might do the best in terms of people wanting to listen and watch the different things to do with it, but I'm not sure at the moment because I haven't actually put any of the teasers out when I'm recording this, so I could be completely wrong. The next one is Ben the Thrashing Dog, which is another one that we started uh, in the Suno vid. It's basically just the extended version of that one. This could potentially also be a favorite for people because Ben is a thing, so it could end up doing well because of that. So yeah, that's track seven. Track eight is also one that you might have heard at times. I used it for my outro in the last, not the last vid, it would have been the one beforehand where I was saying I was taking a break. That that, that was in the outro is this song. The song basically just consists of tell them what it is. That's about it, but it is a very catchy song. This next track that's called I'm In My Room, surprisingly, I know this might come as a shock, I made it in my room. So I made this one back in May, I think it was, and it was when I had COVID and I was just stuck in my room but wanted to do stuff. So I thought, okay, I'll make something. But I just couldn't think of anything at the time. So I made a song about me in my room, not knowing what to write for a song. And it turned out really catchy. I think it's one of those songs that's just gonna get stuck in your head, although there's quite a few on the album that will, to be honest. Track 10 is called Wasted Skies and it's probably my favorite one on the album, not gonna lie. It's basically about aliens taking over and people originally not believing that aliens are gonna take over, but then they take over and people are like, oh, but they're taking over. <laughs> it's got more of like a country sort of vibe to it. The song originally was gonna be a bit of like a Planet of the Apes sort of thing, but then the way that it turned out just didn't quite sound right. So I changed it from the monkeys and apes and stuff 
to Aliens instead and completely rewritten everything. But yeah, I think that this one's probably my favorite one. So track 11, which is the last one on the bass album, there'll be another three that I'll go through as well afterwards. But from the ones that are gonna be out on July 19th, this will be the last one. I think that this is probably the strangest one in a way, but also maybe not the strangest one. It's basically about a few people that are from Nigeria and they go to the South Pole on like this expedition journey thing and they see Santa there and they're like well what are you doing there you should be in the North Pole not the South Pole so why are you there and then it kind of goes into this this whole story of them wanting Santa to come back to Nigeria with them and have a party but he won't <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit strange, but it's very catchy again. I think in terms of catchiest chorus, this could win it. Because I remember when I made this, I think I was with George at the time when I made it. It, <laughs> The chorus is just so catchy, it's ridiculous. So yeah, that's all the ones from the bass album. Now the, oh, my voice. <laughs> now the ones that will be released on August 2nd, they'll be part of, I guess, a deluxe version, but you don't have to think of it as a deluxe version though. The reason that I didn't put them out at the same time as the original 11 songs is because like style wise they might fit slightly but lyric wise they're just completely different to the kind of things that were in the bass album. It's a bit more of like a serious tone, not always at times but I'd say they're the most normal songs that I've made out of all of them. A lot of it is just about change in general in life and kind of like making the most of stuff while you've got it. So track 12 is called uh, Everything's Changed and it's a very very simple song. It is, I think that it's only got like 15 words in it. It's just It just says them like at different points throughout the song itself. But this one I think might do the best out of the three deluxe songs although it might be the last one as well because i know that a couple of people have already said they really like that last track which i'll get onto. track 13 which is called the summer it is basically just about making the most of something while you've got it because even though stuff might look good around you at the time it might not always last so that's like the true meaning i guess of it but you can just listen to it as a summer song without really reading too much into the lyrics. I think that out of the three deluxe songs, this one's probably the weakest one, but I wouldn't say it's a bad one though. I think I just really like track 12 and 14. <laughs> so this is now the last song, which is track 14. It's called Last Dance. From a couple of teasers that I've put out on the extra channel or through shorts, like not proper teasers, but just like mini teasers, this is the one that I think might've been received the best. It was one of those where when I was making it, I was kind of doing stuff to do with the lyrics and didn't quite realize how it would turn out. And then once it generated it, it was kind of like, whoa, okay, this is actually sick. So I tweaked a couple of bits, made it better. And yeah, I think that this one might be borderline favorite with Everything's Changed and Wasted Skies. There's no other song that's like it on the album. It's a very slow song compared to most of the rest of them. So yeah, that's all the songs on the album. Hopefully you'll listen to them when they come out tomorrow. So from midnight, uh, BST time, it, they will all drop on the channel. They might be on Spotify depending on what your time zone is at exactly the same time, but they'll be out everywhere within that day at some point. Depends what your time zone is. So yeah, hopefully you like the songs. If not, then Never mind, it is what it is. I'll be going back to doing gaming stuff at the start of August, like I said in one of my other vids. So for now, I would say just enjoy the songs. And with that being said, see you fool.